Hello everyone, it's Israel and I'm back with another MKO5 adventure. In our last article, we covered the basics and now it's time to bring those concepts to life in a practical video. This video is all about hands-on learning. We'll dive into code snippets, uh, play with the meta editor and also see how MKO5 comes alive in a real project. If you're a beginner with a proud programming background, this video is still out for you. So stay tuned, grab your virtual pens and let's turn knowledge into action. If you are new to programming, make sure you check my first article before diving into this one for a solid foundation in MQL5 concepts. So, to open your Meta Editor, click on the IDE icon in your MetaTrader 5. Once the Meta Editor opens, press Ctrl N or click on the new icon button. A page will pop up for you to choose the type of MQL5 program you want to develop. It can be Expert Advisor, Custom Indicator, but in this case, we are choosing Script. Then you click on the next button. Then here is where you enter your properties, which are uh, whatever you want to name the script. I will name this MQL5 new. Then the author, you can put your name. Then the link, you can put your, um, your link to your website or your email. Then you click on finish. The property section here displays your details, though it does not affect the code in any way. I explained briefly about onStart function in the last article, but for now you don't need to have full knowledge about it. As time goes on, you get to understand it more. In the previous article, I also discussed um, variables, data types, and also identifiers. I will try as much as possible to simplify and um, explain their relationship. So let's assume we want to alert the current price of the market in our MetaTrader and the current price of the market is um, 1.3472. Though there is a way we can get this automatically, but for now, let's just assume. To send an alert in MKL5, you need the function called um, alerts. I will explain more on um, functions later. So after you typed alerts, um, then you put the data you want to alert, which is the number in a bracket. So and once you do that, you end the line of the code with a semicolon, which is important. You compile. After you compile, you check the description description section for possible errors or um or warnings. So but there is none here, so we are good to go. It's important to um note that you must add a semicolon at um at the end of every line of code. Um, so um, what happens if you do not add this um, semicolon? If you do not add this semicolon um, and you compile your code, you can see that in the description section, you will get an error message that um, you need to add a semicolon. And, and once you do the right thing and add the semicolon, then um, compiling your code, the error message will be cleared and you have zero errors and zero warnings in your description section. Um, so let's run uh, the code in our meta trader. To do that, you need to go to the um, script folder in your navigation section. Once you do that, you look for the file which is um, mko 5 new So you click on it and drag it to the chart. Once you see that, you can see the code that is executed in the chart. You can see the message here. Another way to send message to your meta trader is to um, use the comment function. If you use the comment function, the message will quietly appear on your chat and um, you can also use the print function to display message in your MetaTrader 5 um, console. Um, let's assume you are working with like um, 1000 lines of code and you, you have to repeat this number in multiple places. Then all of a sudden you need to like make changes to the, um, to the number. So to do this, this will like take forever for you to start changing the um, Start changing the number uh, one by one. So this is where the pairing of variable comes in. The pairing of variable will make it easy for you to like um, edit the number so easily. And to declare variable, you need to like determine two things. You need to determine the um, data type you are working with, and the second thing is the identifier, which is the name, um, the name of the variable. So uh, it is obvious here that this number is um, is a double data is a double um, data type. So once you are done with that, you need to um, you need to give it a name, which we are naming a um, market price. Then after that, you assign a value to it, which is the um, which is the data itself. So um, instead of you to be using the number in multiple places, you can just use the uh, 
identifier instead so with this if you want to make any changes you just um change it um at the point where you declared the uh, variable instead of um using um the number in different places in your code you can just use a uh, market price instead so um for you to update your market price all you have to do is to change the number you assign to it then you compile it let's uh, let's test this thing test this in our meta trader once you run it you can see the comments up here that uh, it has updated this is just the summary of um, some of the most important things we did in um last uh, article so stay tuned um thank you for watching the video